So check this out. This is an Arizona black rattlesnake. It's one of 13 native species here in the state of Arizona. I'm ABC 15 meteorologist Justin Hobbs. While these native species may be used to heat, Arizona's new extreme heat due to climate change is causing a harsh impact on multiple native species. The Sonoran Desert, home to our iconic saguaro cactus. But prolonged heat waves have driven annual death rates from just 1 to 2 percent annually to nearly 7 percent, according to researchers at the Desert Botanical Garden. But saguaros are just one part of the story. Native species are also taking a hit. 25 years of radio tracking desert rattlesnakes, I had never had rattlesnakes fail to emerge uh, after hot weather in the summer. Mike Carvel, a consulting wildlife biologist, says in 2023 he made a shocking discovery. We had two uh, adult western diamondbacks underground during a record hot July and never came up. You know, being ectotherms, you know, they're not like us where, you know, we sweat to cool ourselves down. They will get to the temperature that they are around them and they will stay that temperature until they find someplace cooler. These species are taking a hard hit as rising night temperatures cut into the cooler hours they rely on to safely hunt. Sometimes it can be to the point that it gets so hot that stuff doesn't move and we see certain species die to starvation because they don't ever come out to look because it's too hot. Sometimes your average is around 100 degrees. You know, when that happens for five, six, seven, eight, nine days in a row, in the case of um, July 23, um, those underground burrow temperatures can, can get up to the lethal temperature for the snakes. If, if it's happening to the rattlesnakes, my guess is it's hard to imagine not happening to, to other species as well. And one is all it takes to throw off an entire food chain. That tells us that we got to pay attention to it. And we have to notice these little things because ecosystems in very, very rare cases, does everything just die off or pass all at once? You know, it's a slow process, but it's speeding up as we go. And yeah, I think we've been in a tipping point for several years. In North Scottsdale, Justin Hobbs, ABC 15, Arizona.